Okay, before I start this video, I will have to inform you. I am not defending Chris Chan. I am not defending anything he has done. However, I am s simply stating my opinion. I am simply stating... Wait, did I... Not, I, I just said that. Sorry. And, um... Also... I don't like the content, but there are a lot of stuff that I will have to admit are pretty decent about Sonic 2. So, uh, <coughs> flame shield up. All my staff has circled me and equipped with rifles. Let's begin. So, Sonic 2 came from Chris Chan. We all know that. Now, I've seen a lot of people review this, and honestly, there are a lot of stuff I disagree about when it comes to this. The idea is not that good, to be honest. I like Pikachu and Sonic as much as anybody here. In fact, they're probably my two favorite uh, video game characters in my, in, you know, in video game history. But, honestly, I will have to say this. The idea really isn't that good. I'll say that. No. Now that we got the concepts out of the out of the way, let's go back a bit. What about the artwork? Well, the artwork, in some cases, are decent. I mean, his GameCube game cover design with Sonic 2 in the front of it—that's pretty decent. I probably couldn't draw that, but then again, I'm pretty crap at art. So, anyway, uh, content. Honestly, some of the ideas are pretty decent. Just take one element out of it, though. You either take Sonic or you take Pikachu out of it. Take the infusions out, take the recolors out, and take your personal life out of it. You might actually have a decent comic. What really got me interested, though, it it really isn't to do with this comic. It's more of one of the concepts, which I think could have been placed on the Pikachu here, is that you had a black Sonic chew. Which, honestly, I really would have loved to see that on a Pikachu, to be honest. The black Pikachu. But I think that would have been cool. Uh, getting back on topic. Thank you, Sad Slash. Thank you, you dumbass. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So, in conclusion to this, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments for this. I realize that. I do. And I just want to say right now, I apologize if you do not like the content of this video. I apologize if it seems like I am defending Chris Chan. Even though I clearly said at the beginning I wasn't. Anyway. <sighs> I really don't like how he uses his personal life into this comic as well. Honestly, he really does need to grow up about some of the issues he's had in his life. His life is as bad as some other people on this planet. You know what I mean? I, I don't mean to be an egotist or anything. I don't mean to, you know, sound like, oh, I've... Life is most difficult for me. That it's y You get the idea. Uh, no, I'm not trying to be like that, but I'm just saying, I, I have autism. I have a depression a lot and um I have asthma I don't, I'm not complaining at all to be honest you know I have all that and yet I'm not complaining you complain over s little little things that you yourself have actually caused you know I mean y you have acted like a man child and you demand pity and to be honest not many people give it to you thus you know I'll, 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 I'll skip I'll, I'll, I'll skip this part um yeah your videos you have honestly honestly brought anything that people have said to you on yourself. 
you say internet is the worst place on, the, on earth because people harass you. Because people criticize you. Well, I have one thing to say to you. If you don't like it, get off YouTube, okay? I, I don't get why you're trying to get people to sit here. You're, you're you're sitting there sitting to, saying to people, uh, I I simply went on the internet one day and people start just started saying swear words at me and and, and, and harassing me. Dude, put a sex tip of yourself on the internet with a rag do with with a sex doll. You put your own semen in a in a can of Fanta and you drunk it. On, on camera. Then you produce these, and before that, you produce these comics, and you have this little big Lego city, which you openly brag about. And you you sit there with your PS3 if you're not on the computer, with little big planet two trying to make autism tutorials, which fail. This has been Frost 95 here, saying goodbye YouTube, peace out. And now we're sad slash because honestly, some of that stuff in this script has been absolute. Oh, we're still in the air. Great. Now I've just been exposed as an asshole for like near two consecutive videos. Nine Eleven video coming up next, by the way. Peace out, YouTube.